My name is Nicole Davis. I've been coming to The Way for about a year and a half. Before I came to know Jesus, my life was not the best. Um, I was doing things my own way. I left home when I was 16. Um, I got into a few really bad abusive relationships. Um, I had four kids, which I lost all of them. And um, I was just doing drugs, uh, drinking running around on the streets. I was homeless. Um, I've had quite a few low points. I've been in and out of church, um, on the streets doing drugs, into church, and then back and forth. Um, most recently was just the fact that um, some things happened with my kid's dad and uh, my kids needed to come live with me, so I really didn't have a choice but to change for the better. Um, that's when I decided to, to commit myself to church and to them and to do what I needed to do to uh, make sure that they had a good life. I can remember I was in the car and I was driving to Long Beach to get some dope and uh, the song uh, Come to the Altar came on the radio and God just spoke to me and he said like I needed to give it up, I needed to give it to him there, to leave it at the altar, to turn around and to do what I needed to do to take care of my kids and, and to get myself back on track. Well, when my kids came to live with me, I had to obviously be more responsible at that point and, and take care of business. But it was just gradually God working on me and God working on me. But things didn't really change for me until we moved out to Riverside and we started coming to church at the way. And I was attending Sunday and Wednesday, but I was just doing the bare minimum. I had my kids with me. I got a job. I was working, thinking that everything's okay. But I was still holding on to alcohol. I was still holding on to the weed. I thought just because I wasn't uh, doing the drugs I was doing before that everything was better. And I was better, but um, I wasn't fully committed at that point. God did begin um, restoring the relationship between uh, myself and my children. Things were still a little rough though. Um, after we started coming to church at the way, um, and I started doing Adopt a Block, and just uh, hearing the word that the leaders were giving to the people at Adopt a Block, um, it made me realize that I needed to give everything, um, and that I wasn't being a good mother, and I wasn't doing the things I needed to do. I used to just be chained, like I used to be chained to the drugs, chained to the anger, chained to the hurt, chained to the bad relationships. I was just chained to sin and now I'm free like everything's new and and I'm I'm just happy now he's always been there like I can look back and I can see that he's always been there he's done everything for me but most of all he's he has set me free from everything he has just empowered me to do the things that I need to do the things that I never thought I could do yeah God has definitely been faithful through everything um, even in my low points he's been there and he's he's pulled me out of a lot of bad situations I haven't been faithful to him but he's definitely shown up. He has restored my relationship with my children and we actually have um, just a really great relationship. All of us um, get along really well. Now I have a business. We you know, have a house. We, I used to be homeless. I used to not have my kids. Now going to adopt a block, I'm able to drive a van with other people's children and bring them to church. Now I'm able to go back and go hit the streets in a different way um, and speak to other women and other people that have been in my same situation. I have compassion for them now because I know where they've been and I know exactly what God can do in their lives because he's done it for me.